everyone, so in today's video I want to give you a little look at my uh, December scrapbook supplies and um, I want to explain to you my intentions and ideas for scrapbooking December this year because it's a little bit different to previous years. So first of all, I have quite a large um, stash of supplies this year. I bought quite a lot of stuff last year and I still have bits left over. Um, so all of the papers in here and um, bits of vellum and tissue paper, that's all left over from last year, apart from um, there's a few sheets of paper from this year's November Brimble, Brimble's box, sorry, which was Christmas themed. Um, so I won't go into too much detail in that, it's just papers and tissue paper and things. But then I also bought the majority of the uh, Crepe Paper Snow and Cocoa collection. And I will show you a few bits that I have in here. So I have um, a red ink pad, just in case I want to do some stamping. I have the 6x6 Snow and Cocoa paper pad. I have the puffy stickers, the tiny word stickers, the 6x12 stickers, and they're all so cute. I've got some just hobby craft um, letters, stickers there. Then I've got some bits again left over from last year. I've got some stamps, some advent numbers, some snowflakes, which I didn't use at all because we didn't get any snow last year. Some reindeer. More vellum. And then I've got the snow and cocoa vellum a Chamel vellum from last year, some more snow and cocoa paper and the chipboard stickers. I'm not going into massive detail with you on my supplies because you'll see it all in my process videos um, and it just seems like a waste of everyone's time to go through it all in detail. Um, as well as that I also have my December Like Forever kit, which was mainly made up of snow and cocoa bits, as well as some other manufacturers. So you might have noticed that in that last box of supplies, um, it's mainly the snow and cocoa range, so the, the colours aren't the traditional Christmas colours. Um, whereas in this lot of paper and tissue paper and everything, they are the traditional Christmas colours. So I thought I kind of wanted to use both. I didn't really want to mix them too much because I don't really think they go together. Um, so I thought I'd make up a second box of supplies full of all my traditional Christmas colours um, and I can kind of pick and choose because there's a couple of albums that I want to make this December. So like I said, I have my traditional Christmas colour paper in here. And then I have this second box of supplies. Uh, this box is one of the really useful boxes and it's from Hobbycraft. Um, and in the top here I have some of my embellishments, I have these little bears, some um, ephemera that was left over from my December Like Forever kit last year. I've got some washi tapes, so this one is from the November Brimbles box and this one's from Hobbycraft that says Bar Humbug. I've got some bits from My Mind's Eye, these little reindeers from Pink Fresh last year, a couple of Christmas tree paper clips, some Chanel buttons, ribbon and twine, these little, um, what's this called? I can't remember, little bows, and some wood veneer circles. I thought these might be cute on the spine of a mini album. And then underneath I've got lots of tiny word stickers. <laughs> These two are left over from last year and I barely used them at all, I didn't actually use that pack at all. And then this is from the November Brimbles box. I've got these stag heads which I don't know if I'll do anything with but pop them in there anyway. Enamel dots from Mrs Brimbles and from Chamel last year. Stickers from Mrs Brimbles. 6x6 paper from last year. Some craft hearts acrylic pieces from last year, advent toppers, some letter stickers and puffy stickers from last year that I kind of want to use up, some new candy cane thickers, some, uh, I think these were called remarks, stickers as holly and speech bubbles, and they're all to do with Christmas. 
some packaging from previous Brimbles boxes. I just thought these might be nice to layer behind photos. And some cork letter stickers. So as you can see, I've got quite a variety of stuff. Um, this stuff is all very much traditional colours, the red and the green um, and all that sort of thing. And then I've got the teals and pinks and everything of the Snow and Cocoa collection in my other box of goodies. So you might be thinking, Chloe, you're making absolutely no sense. You're just rambling on and not actually telling us what you're doing. So I will finally tell you what I'm doing. So you guys will know that I do Project Life and um, have done for a few years. And I always document my December in my Project Life album. I very rarely make mini albums. It's just not really my thing. Um, but this year I've decided that I want to do that and I have two albums that I want to work with. So I am definitely still going to be doing my December project life because I really can't stand it if an album doesn't feel finished and to me my album won't feel finished if I haven't done December in the same album. But I'm going to use this 4x4 um, Instagram album in gold from We Are Memory Keepers and you might think this is silly but this is basically going to document um, photos of the dogs. Um, I've already taken loads of festive photos with the dogs and I'm going to put them all in here. Um, and I'm going to put like Merry Woofmas on the side or something like that. I thought that would be really cute. And then this is an 8x8 album which I've just noticed has somehow got scuffed in the last like two minutes which is really annoying. Um, it's an 8x8 We Are Memory Keepers red album that I got from Hobbycraft and it was on offer. I've just noticed that the spine is scuffed as well. I'm honestly only just noticing all of this. But yeah, I got it on offer from Hobbycraft. It was £10 and it came with some page protectors, but they're not the sort of ones that I would use. They are um, ones that have two four by six slots and then two um two by four slots so it's a funny old shape and i didn't realize at the time how difficult it was to get eight by eight page protectors i found some on amazon and thankfully they fit perfectly fine because they're the we are memory keepers brand um so i decided that what i'm going to do with this album is keep it purely for layouts so i'm going to make some eight by eight layouts that should be fun it's not something i do very often um so yeah i'm really looking forward to trying that i feel like this video has been very disjointed and i haven't really explained anything to you so i may well end up refilming this but basically i just wanted to let you know that there's going to be lots of videos this month um of albums in different sizes i'm not setting a time limit on this um if i get two pages done in the whole of december that's fine um but yes it's something new um, I'm excited to use all of my products and I hope you'll follow along with me and watch my process videos this month. See you next time guys. Bye!